Hello my dear students welcome for today's video lecture of maths in today's lecture we are going to learn the addition of fraction how to add the fractions that we are going to learn today in fraction addition of fraction we have to add two types of fraction uh, addition of fraction having same denominators and addition of fraction having different denominators okay how to add it's uh, let's see the first type that is addition of fraction having same denominators it's very easy we have learned that yes uh, in last year okay so see here uh, the practice 5.11 which is based on this addition of fraction we are going to solve that see the first question add the following fractions okay find the sum of the following fractions now see 3 upon 7 And five point seven. We have to add these two fractions. Four upon five, three upon five. Then three upon eight, one upon eight. Okay. So if you observe all these examples, their denominators are same. Okay. So it's uh, when the denominators are same, it's very easy to add the two fractions. Uh, or uh, basically, I will tell tell you that. to add two fractions their denominators must be same okay so when now your denominators are same so uh, directly we will add let's see how to add 3 upon 7 plus 5 upon 7 okay see the denominators here also 7 here also 7 they are they are same okay and in in the fraction we have to add only numerators not denominators denominators are same that denominator we will take common first give this bar this 7 7 will take one time only 7 we don't have to add this 7 plus 7 no take it common okay <coughs> then 3 plus 5 this numerators we have to add 3 plus 5. So 3 plus 5 is 8 upon 7. This is your answer. Understood what we have done? We haven't added the numer denominators. We have added only numerators. Okay? When we can add only numerators? When their denominators are same. Now here denominators are same. So directly we we have added their numerators. When denominators are not same. Then how to add that we are going to learn in the second question. Okay. Now see next example. Four upon five and three upon five. Two fractions with same denominators. Denominators. Okay. So four upon five plus three upon five is equal to. Denominators are same. Take it common. Five. And add the numerators. Four plus three. So four plus three is. Seven upon five. Got it? Next. Three upon eight and one upon eight. Denominators are same. See, three upon eight and one upon eight. Denominators are same. Take it common and add only numerators. So three plus one, four upon eight. Four upon eight is the answer. Further, we can reduce also. We can find reduced form also. See this four and eight, both are divisible by both are in which uh, same table four. So we can divide it. So four ones are four. Four two. This four two is eight. One by two. One upon two is the answer. Okay. If you have found answer till this four upon eight, this is also okay. But this is the perfect answer one by two, lowest term. Okay. Next, seven upon ten and five upon ten. We have to add these two fractions. Seven upon ten plus five upon ten. Denominators are same. Add take take it common. Add only numerators. Seven plus five. So seven plus five, twelve upon ten. Can we 
can we have equivalent fraction of this 12 upon 10? Can we have reduced term of this? See both the numbers, numerator and denominator are divisible by which same number? They are divisible by 2, right? They are in number of 2. So let's divide both numerator and denominator by 2. 12 divided by 2, 2, 6 are 12. 12 divided by 10, uh, 10 divided by 2, 2, 5 are 10. 6 upon 5, okay? Next, 2 whole, 5 upon 11 and 1 whole, 3 upon 11. They are mixed fraction. So, how to do the addition of mixed fraction? First, let's add, uh, write this in the form of addition. So, whenever there are mixed fraction no? at that time, first we will convert this mi mixed fraction into improper. We have learned how to convert mixed fraction into improper fraction. So, first we will convert. How to convert? Whole number multiplied by denominator plus numerator. That is 2 multiplied by denominator 11 plus 5 upon denominator 11. Okay? See that formula which I have been given plus whole number 1 multiplied by denominator 11 plus numerator 3 upon denominator 11. Okay? Next. 11 twos are 22. 22 plus 5, 27 upon 11. Plus 11 ones are 11 plus 3, 40 upon 11. Okay? So now we have this improper fraction. Let, uh, let, uh, let's add denominators are same. 11, 11. Take it common. Don't add denominator. In fraction, we add only numerators. And when we can add only numerators? When the denominators are same. So 27 plus 40. What is 27 plus 40? 40. 27 plus 40, 41 upon 11. So 41 upon 11, 41 upon 11, this is the radio, uh, reduced term only. We cannot find equivalent fraction like this because both 11 and uh, 41 are not in any same table. Okay? So this, is the, this was the first type of addition where denominators are same. It's very easy. Uh, watch this video twice. Okay, then you will understand it. Now pause this video, write these examples. After that, we will solve second question. See now, second question. Find the sum of the following. See, first one, 3 upon 7 and 3 upon 8. Second one is 4 upon 5, 3 upon 4. So if you observe all these examples, the denominators are not same. They are different. And you know, to add the fractions, we want their denominators equal, same. Otherwise, we cannot add their numerator. Understood? When we can add the, the numerators of the fraction? Only when their denominators are same. Otherwise, no. So now, denom here, see, 3 upon 7 plus 3 upon 8. Their denominators are not same. So if the denominators are not same, then we have to make their denominator same. We have to make. Okay. Now the question comes that how to make? How to make the denominator same? Let's see. What we have to do? First we have to find the LCM of 7 and 8. We have learned to find LCM. LCM of 7 and 8. LCM of 7 and 8 means such number which is in table of 7 and 8. In table of both these numbers. Small, such smallest number which is in table of both 7 and 8. Now if you see the table of 8. 8 ones are 8. 8 ones are 8. Is there 8 in table of 7? No. 8 to the 16. Is there 16 in table of 7? No. 8 3 is a 24. Is that 24 in table of 7? No. 8 4 is a 32. 40. 48. Are these numbers in table of 7? No. Then there is 56. 
is there 56 in table of 7 yes it is there okay you know 7 8 is the 56 here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 7 is the 56 and 7 8 is the 56 56 in is in table of both 8 and 7 so LCM of 7 and 8 is nothing but 56 lowest common multiple or least common multiple common multiple means it is multiple of 8 also and 7 also okay so how to find that how to find instantly without doing any method greater number is 8 write its table and while writing check whether the given number is in table of 7 for example we che check you know, this way 16 8 to the 16 then we check that yeah, whether 16 is in table of 7 or not ok so we uh, say table 7 to the 14 7 to the 21 there is no 16 so we proceed further uh, so uh, in this way we came till 6, 5, uh, 8 7 is 8 7 is 56 and we know that 56 is also in table of 7 that means 56 is the lowest common multiple of 8 and 7 now see 50, LCM is 56 so first uh, we found LCM of eight, uh, 7 and 8 that is 56 now what we have to do you know we have to make the denominators 56 now there is 7 and 8 we have to convert them into 56 so see how to convert Take first fraction 3 upon 1, 7 down. Okay. Now, the, here denominator is 7. We have to make it 56. What we have to do for that? You know, uh, by which number we have to multiply to 7 so that we will get 56? You know, 7, 8 is 56. What? 7, 8 is 56. So, to get here 56, we need to multiply by 8. 7 multiplied by 8. Okay. Understood why we have multiplied by 8 to 7? We have to make denominator 56. And for that, we have multiplied 7 by 8. Now, we have multiplied 7, which is denominator. We have multiplied denominator by 8. So, we have to multiply numerator also by 8. This is the rule of the fraction we have seen while finding equivalent fraction. Okay. So, we have... Uh, we will multiply both the denominator and numerator by 8. Finish. Plus, take another fraction down 3 upon 8. Now here also we have to make denominator 56. Now here denominator, the uh, denominator is 8 and we have to make it 56. Then by which number we have to multiply here? You know 8, 7 is 56. Correct? So by which number we have to multiply? 7. Similarly, we need to multiply in the numerator also. Okay. Now see. 8 7 is 56. 8 3 is 24. Plus 8 7 is 56. 3 7 is 24. 24 upon 56 plus 21 upon 56. Now the denominators are same. Okay. Now we can add the numerators. Take the denominator common and add their numerators 21 plus uh, 24 plus 21 45 upon 56 this is our answer after that see whether 45 and 56 are, are divisible by any same number no so this is so this is only the final answer next 4 upon 5 and 3 upon 4 See, 4 upon 5 plus 3 upon 4. Now, denominators are not same. Then we cannot add directly. First, we may need to make denominator same. And for that, we need to find LCM of 5 and 4. Can you tell me LCM of 5 and 4? What will, which number will be the LCM? Lowest common multiple. Means such a smallest number which is in table of 5 as well as 4. See here, two numbers are there, 5 and 4. Greater number is 5. Let's write table of 5. 5, 10. Is there 5 in table of 4? No. Then second, 5 to the 10. Is there 10 in table of 4? No. Then there is 15. Is there 15 in table of 4? No. Then 20. Is there 20 in table of 4? Yes. There is 20. 
means 20 is the smallest number which is in table of 5 also and 4 also so lcm of 5 and 4 is 20 so now lcm is 20 that means you have to make here denominator 20 okay so 4 upon 5 this first fraction 5 here denominator is 5 we have to make it 20 then by which number we have to multiply 5 you know 5 4 is a 20 so here also multiply by 4 plus 3 upon 4 here denominator is 4 we have to make it 20 so we need to multiply 4 by 5 so here also multiply by 5 ok now 4 4 is a 16 upon 20 plus 3 5 is a 15 upon 20 denominator is denominator is same now take it common add the numerator 16 plus 15 and the answer is 16 plus 15 31 upon 20 ok next Three upon seven plus one by eight. Else denominators are not same, so find LCM of seven and eight. And in first example, we have found LCM of seven and eight. That is fifty-six. So let's make the denominator fifty-six. Three upon seven. Okay. So seven into how many? 56, 7 into 8. So here 3 into 8. Plus 1 by 8. 8 into 7. So here 1 into 7. So now see 8 3s are 24 upon 56 plus 7 on the 7 upon 56. So 56 common. Denominator is same. Take it common. Add only numerators. 24 plus 7, 31 upon 56. Okay? Next. Here there are mixed fraction. 1 whole 7 upon 10 and 2 whole 5 upon 8. So first we will convert this into mixed fraction. Okay? Sorry, they, they, they are mixed fraction. We will convert them into improper fraction. So 1 plus numerator, that is 1 into 10 plus 7 upon 10 plus 2 into 8 plus 5 upon 8. Okay? 10 ones are 10 plus 7, 17 upon 10 plus 8 to the 16 plus 5, 21 upon 8. Now uh, we have improper fractions, but the denominators are not same, so we cannot add directly numerator. We need to make denominator of same for that. We need to find LCM of the denominators that is 10 and 8. What is LCM of 10 and 8? Such number which is in table of 10 also and 8 also, but it should be smallest. 10 ones are 10, 10 twos are 20. Is there 20 in table of 8? No. 10 3 is a 30. Is there 30 in table of 8? No. 10 4 is a 40. Is there 40 in table of 8? 40 is in table of 10. Is there 40 in table of 8? Yes. 8 5 is a 40. Okay. So 40 is the lowest common multiple LCM of 10 and 8. That means we have to make here denominator 40. So 70 upon 10. 10 into how many 40? 10 fours, uh, fours are 40. So 17 fours are. Plus 21 upon 8. 8 fives are 40. So 21 fives are. Now 17 fours are 68 upon 40. Plus 21 fives are 105 upon 40. Okay, now denominators are same, take it common. Add numerator 68 plus 105 is equal to what we get 105 plus 68, 
173 upon 40. 173 upon 40 is the answer. So in this way, we have to add the two fractions whose denominators are not same. Once again, I re revise. When denominators are not same, we directly cannot add. We first we have to make the denominator same uh, by finding LCM. Okay, uh, LCM of denominators. Now when after finding LCM, make the denominator equal to the LCM. Why to find LCM? Because uh, we have to make the denominator equal to the LCM. So we have to first we have to find the LCM of the denominators, okay? And then we have to add. When we get denominators in, take it common and the numerators. Understood? So I hope you have understood the uh, addition of fraction. Uh, remaining example in this question you have to solve by yourself, okay? So thank you for today and have a nice day.